platform. It's uh, pretty, pretty slept on, and I'll go ahead and show you guys what I mean. This is a website um, called Similar Web. Um, essentially, it allows you to look up any website um, and pretty much just analyze like their data. So I'm going to type in Pinterest.com. Wait for that to load. Let me take these out of here. Okay, so as you can see, Pinterest.com, um, you know, it's, it's been around since 2008, has a lot of employees. Um, it's ranked number eight, number 22 in the U.S., and globally, it's ranked 27. It um, monthly visits, you know, it's almost at, what is that, 1 billion? Like, it, it gets a lot of traffic. So it's, it's, it's something that's really, really slept on. And as you can tell, like, it's, it's really popping in the U.S. And again, it's just, it's a platform that's slept on and not a lot of people are, you know, taking advantage of it. So I just wanted to bring this video to you guys to, you know, maybe just jog some, you know, ideas and whatever. And, and essentially just show you guys, like, how I'm using it. So as you can see, the average visit duration, um is five minutes people are spending five minutes on this website so it's it, it retains um, a lot of people so this is again um, me just kind of I guess explaining like how you can use Pinterest with Amazon so as you can see from similar web amazon.com is one of the top referring sites to Pinterest so what does that mean people Kind of like how we did with the Instagram um, strategy. People are grabbing um, product products from um, Amazon Associates. And remember we go to, and I know I may be going kind of fast, so like I'll try to like work on this. But this is um, essentially just me trying to explain in the best way possible. I'm not really a teacher, that's why we're doing it like this because uh, I still want to like share this information so I do apologize if you know I'm going too fast or if like I don't make a lot of sense we're gonna get through it together okay so anyway Amazon Associates is right here you go to product linking product links and again any of these products you know I'll you know we'll go over you know some of the niches that you know you want to be in um, again like the beauty niche is like one of the top um, pay, payouts because again it pays um, 6% um, but yeah so anyway you would come here get your products and essentially like what similar web is like showing us is that this is what people are doing so 7% of their top referring sites 7% of their traffic is coming from amazon.com that's essentially again people picking up products and posting it onto Pinterest also Tumblr is another um, referral website and eBay so you can kind of see like what's going on here when we look at their like display advertising even though we really don't care for this because we're not like necessarily doing drop shipping or anything but it still kind of you know brings some ideas um, just to, to again explain ad networks think of these as like you know platforms that run ads just to kind of keep it as simple as possible you know, for you guys, like Facebook as is um, is an ad network because they serve ads. Um, so is Spotify. So is um, Snapchat. You know, all these all these different platforms are essentially like ad networks, or at least that's where like you know they're a form of an ad network. So like Google Display Network, um, we'll get into that in, like in a later video. But like Google has you know its own like ad network because it serves ads. Um, Taboola is another website essentially they take like your blogs or like any articles that you have written or like any like you know video or written content they will take that and they will place it on websites such as like you know business insider cnn um nbc news or you know just a, just a couple of different sites um that they'll you know post um you know your content and um people then you know circle back to your site and that's how you drive traffic so this is you know how it works I know a lot of people and this is what was really frustrating for me for a long time is just you know trying to figure out how to drive traffic 
to, you know, my brand? You know, how does this work? How do we get traffic? Um, because doing the foot chase, um, especially if you're an artist and, you know, trying to be, you know, in the city, um, that just, you know, you can only take that so far. So the, the, the power is definitely in the internet. Also, you know, just for people that are looking for financial freedom, because I, I really um, anticipate a lot of people being on this uh, channel, um, you know, just regular people just, you know, seeking that financial freedom. You get it through the internet. And so in my studies and just, you know, what we've been studying and in building this agency, um, this is how it works. So you want to be, you want to get real familiar with ad networks and there's a ton of them. So pop ads is, um, I haven't really looked into them, but they're pretty big. Skim links is pretty big for like, um, I guess more so like e-commerce stuff. Um, share a sale is e-commerce. Google display is just general. It's, you, you can kind of look at Google display as like your retargeting and uh, we'll explain like retargeting and what that and all that is. But I just really wanted to keep it simple today and just kind of explain um, why we're using Pinterest. And again, we're using Pinterest because 43% of Americans are on it. Um, there's, you know, people are staying on the, on the site for a long time, five minutes. Um, they're visiting a lot of pages while, you know, they're, they're on the site and, you know, it's, it's getting, you know, 800 million visits per month. So this is, this number represents per month. Okay. So that's a lot of traffic that we can take advantage of. And over here, we see that there are, you know, people that are already taking advantage of this and it's at 7%. And it's gone up by 300, you know, percent. So I don't know if that's like on a month. It probably probably is on a month. But, you know, 7%, you know, that's kind of high. But then honestly, it's kind of not. And that gives us a lot of space to play in here. So just going to walk you through this um, again so you can kind of see what's going on. I'm on my personal, um, on my main brand's uh, page. So... On a &L. So I'm going to just show how this works real quick. We're going to make a pin. So first we're going to find our product. So a &L is a, um, so we're like a, um, so it's, it's two parts. We have the agency because we had to create that um, essentially because we have to advertise. We, I strongly believe as the founder of the company in owning every fucking thing. And um, because I'm personally an artist myself and um we just got to own everything as far as like the advertisement and just every, just, just how we move. It's just how I was raised and you know, how I continue to live my life. So we need to own everything. So a &L agency is um, essentially the advertising um, side of our company. And then a &L itself is a uh, brand, a um, production house. We plan on making films, shorts, documentaries, and essentially creating a &L into being its own standalone app in the same in the same vein as like um, Hulu or um, Netflix, and essentially it being a channel uh, promoting um, quality, um, you know, introspective spiritual content, primarily for you know Black people, um, Black people, um, you know, the descendants of slaves in America. So that's what a &L is majorly for. And then we also will be making music because obviously we need to own our music as well. So that is what a &L is, um, you know, just so everybody can understand. Um, it's one of my brands. It is the main brand, is the um, outward facing brand. All my other brands will never be seen. And uh, that should be for obvious reasons or, or should be, you know, yeah. Like when y'all start getting this down, and y'all understand like how easy it is to like make a brand and make money and have, you know, uh, the type of, you know, financial freedom that you're looking for. Like you're going to you're definitely going to um, understand why you wouldn't want, you know, your brands just being known. So anyway, we're going to start up here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do CDs and vinyl and to let you guys know why music actually has a pretty good payout. So as you can see, digital music, you get 5%.
digital videos, 5%. Physical music, 5%. Well, I mean, obviously it's all in the same thing. So, um, yeah, so we're going to do music. Um, and we're going to essentially post music on our Pinterest um, feed here. Ignore all this. I haven't really updated it. Um, this is not, you know, this is not us. Anyway, it's us, but it's not us. Okay, so we're going to go back here. We're going to go to product linking, product links. Do, 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 do. And we're going to filter by digital music. There we go. So we're actually not going to do CDs. Okay, so let's see if we can find somebody that we are familiar with. I definitely recognize the labels, but I do not recognize. Here we go. Our girl Lizzo. I know she just had a. I guess people are getting on her. Or we could do blinding lights. I haven't heard any of these. I've been kind of going, but 129, it's real low. But you're getting 6% of that. So, anyway, we're just going to show the purpose of it, and I'm going to show you like how to scale it because it is really low, but I'm going to show you like how you can get this going and essentially just really kill it on Pinterest because, again, they get, wait, where are we? They get this many, you know, visits per month. So let's move this along. So we're gonna grab Lizzo. We're gonna get the link. Let's see here if it's gonna, yep. It's gonna take us to this page. So we're gonna download the image. Now, the last time that we did this in the other video, the image wasn't that clear. Um, when we went ahead and posted it on Instagram. So we're gonna see if we're gonna have that same problem. If we do, I'm gonna show you how to essentially go find this photo. Um, I guess I'll just put it on the desktop. Again, y'all should be a lot more organized than I am. It'll make your life so much easier. Okay, so um, once you get the image, again, you're going to go to text only. That's really all that you need because you're just trying to grab that link. Um, on this one, you can just do the short link. You don't need the standard link because um, that's we needed that for the spreader app because there was there's essentially extra um, information that this link provides um, for a spreader to do its thing. So you don't need that for this, you just need the short link, so just copy that. And then you're going to come over here back to Pinterest. And you're going to press this button up at the top. You're going to click it, create pin. Alright. I'm going to go through this, we don't need a tour. Alright. And so you're going to paste that link right here, just like that, easy. Um, for the description, what I like to do, actually, let's go ahead and put that, that photo in here. Go on the desktop, grabbing her photo, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so now we're going to add the title. What was the title of this, of this uh, project? Good as hell explicit. So I guess this must be like a single. Cool. So we're gonna put that right up here. Good as hell explicit. Dope. Okay. So now we're going back here. And I'm gonna go click on it because we're gonna grab the description because we're not trying to do like a lot of work, right? So I would say, like, it's really up to you, to me, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and put all this information on the, uh, in the description for this bio, I mean, for this, for this description right here, we're just going to put this in here, well, let me see, what do we want to do, I don't, I guess I don't really care about the release date, maybe, 
I don't think we care about that. Maybe just the label. The copyright. Maybe take these off. I don't know. You know, I mean, you can get creative here. People don't really look at this. Um, I don't know what I would necessarily do here. Um, you really don't have to put anything. Um, let's see if we can find something a little better than that, maybe. Let's type in. Lizzo, good as hell. Maybe we can do just a lyric. That'll be easy. There we go. I do my hair. I do my hair toss. I do my hair toss. Check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Feeling good as hell. There we go. We can do just that. Because maybe when somebody sees this pen, it'll like jog their memory of the song. And maybe they'll want to go and purchase it. So boom. There you go. And I'm going to put this into my hip hop board. Because it has a lot of uh, traffic. That's that's my main traffic source. And we'll get into that as well. Of like how you want to structure your Pinterest boards. But again, this is really just a strategy on showing how to make money with Amazon affiliate marketing and not necessarily how to structure your Pinterest in order to drive in traffic. Because there is a way that you want to set up your Pinterest um, to start generating the audience that you want. So that'll probably be the second video that we make or the third. Okay, so we're going to publish this. We got our link in there. And as you can see, now we can go look at the pin. And this is how we're looking, I guess. Let's see if we can refresh because I'm not really sure lights. I guess I just expected it to kind of look better. Um, AT&T's internet is horrible, you guys. Like, I have so many problems with them. Like, I have to do a channel scan, like, every 20 minutes just to keep the internet fresh. All right. Anyway, as you can see, this is what it is. Um, when people click on it, they'll come across this pin in the hip-hop section. Um, they'll click on it, and they'll go straight to Amazon. And from there, they can purchase. Now, what I forgot to do, right here, they can buy the song for $129, and you'll get, what is it, I think, 6% or, or, oh, sorry, it was 5%. So you get 5% from that. And let's see if we put the tag, if the tag is in there for the song. Yes, it is. Now, again, remember, if you have multiple sites, I mean, uh, sorry, multiple affiliate um tags and whatnot, make sure that you put the right tag um, on your link. Because on this, I actually put the wrong tag. So I'm going to just go back here and fix that. It's real simple. Um, okay. Go here. Come on. I just, I, I really don't understand why it's, uh, Okay, so click on the proper one. There you go. And then uh, I'm going to go to text only to copy the link again. Short the link. Copy it. And I'll show you how to edit that. So you edit the pin just by pressing on this little 
uh, pencil button like that and you can switch out your link. So now it's been saved, you can click on it again. Bada boom, bada bang. There's the proper tag. So that's how you fix it if you have, you know, multiple ones and, you know, you want to keep it organized and whatnot. Cool? All right, so we're going to exit out of that. Now, I want to show you, like, how to scale it because, again, it is, like, $1.29, so, like, that's not, like, a lot of money, right? So, um, and this kind of gets into, you know, what my um, agency does, what we do for, like, our clients. Um, what you're going to want to do if you're going to want to scale it, you're going to have to use, like, automation tools. Um, Pinterest is very friendly to automation. So... Uh, Voltaire is a um, virtual, um, they have a lot of different products, but what we use them for is a server. Um, the server essentially allows you to like access like a Windows PC because I actually have like a Mac. Um, so you can hop onto Voltaire, um, grab yourself a server. Um, you know, for Microsoft because the software that I'm about to show, which is Jarvi, it's a automation software that you can use um, to scale and um, automate your this this Pinterest strategy that we're that we're going into here. So I'll leave the link um, obviously in the description for Voltaire. And um, again, essentially they just have like they have a lot of different products, but what we use them for is a server again um, that can essentially just run um, these processes. Um, on their server so I don't have to run it like on my Mac. It can just run forever ongoing um, in the cloud or on the server. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in to my server to access Jarvi. Um, it's going on there. I actually need to turn it down the amount of processes. So this is Jarvi. Um, essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, add your Pinterest account, you can add a profile by going up here, add profile, you'll add um, your Pinterest, you'll put your Pinterest um, information on here so you can do, you know, your brand, you don't need to do anything here, um, proxy settings, we'll go into that in another video, um, you don't really need proxy settings uh, for Pinterest again because Pinterest is um, they're okay with automation for right now. That may change because they're kind of, you know, incorporating more advertising onto their platform. But as of right now, um, they're, they're, they're cool. So um, you put in your username and you put in your password and then you go ahead and verify your account. Um, once you do that, you'll go to this tools tab right here and you'll be able to access um, your account. So the biggest thing here is the repinning. So this is what I wanna talk about. So we just put Lizzo's, um, her single in hip hop. So I'm gonna do this again just to show y'all. So we went to tools, we selected our Pinterest account and then we're clicking on repin. We clicked on repin and then it, it pulls up our boards. Um, it may take a minute once you add the account for all your boards to pop up, but once you do, um, it'll, it'll pop up here. So um, we added her thing to hip hop. So we're gonna click on hip hop. And right here, I wanna show you guys what we've done here. So on Pinterest, again, they are cool with automation for right now. Um, advertising platforms and stuff right now are changing every day um, because of, you know, it's just, it's like a new frontier. So you, you really got to stay on top of it. But for right now, they're really cool with automation. So you can um, set this board as we have to repin 90 times per day between a certain time period. Um, I recommend doing 90 again because Pinterest gives you a lot of leeway. And this is essentially what 
um, can super boost um, your engagement on your Pinterest. Because if you're repinning all day, essentially you are actively engaged all day on Pinterest and you're providing new content or, you know, and, and we'll get into that with the sources, um, you're just repinning new stuff um, within your board um, all day long. So you're engaging, you know, um, all these people, you know, or at least, you know, a percentage of these people all day long. So you're active. Um, and that's what we want. And that's why we love automation, because we can't do that all day long. We have things to do. So anyway, so 90 times per day. And we're going to scroll down here. If you randomize the publishing timers per day, I recommend um, doing that. So you're not so it's not, you know, repinning at the same time. Um, again, just to, you know, give it some sort of, you know, human flair. Um, you can enable the signature at the bottom. Um, but that's not really what we, you know, care about um, right now. Allow double repin um, to repin to the multiple, you know, multiple times on the board. You'll want this checked uh, for what we're going to do here. And you can leave everything else blank and essentially just keep um, all of these checked because we want it running consistently. So what we're going to do here. Um, we're going to select custom URL because what we want repin from the provider list of pins. Actually, we're going to do this because we're going to add a lot of these. So that link that we just um, created with Lizzo and her single, we're going to go back and we're going to find that pin. So all you do is just go back to the board or, or actually it's right here because it's one of our pins that we made. We're gonna click on it and it's gonna pull up this pin. So we're gonna wanna um, copy this entire URL. We're gonna copy it and we're gonna come back to Jarvi. We're gonna, oh shit, pin it down. I forget. It's only one thing that I don't like about Voltaire and their server, I can't copy between my computer. All right, so what do we have here? So Pinterest.com. Pinterest.com slash pin slash 763. Okay. Seven six three three six zero two zero five five seven five four five two eight zero eight. Awesome. Okay, so slide this back up as I can see. And so you're gonna add this pin just like that. Okay, so they want um, the HTTP. So we gotta add that to the beginning. HTTP slash slash, boom. Okay, so what this has essentially done is that we've added this pin right here, good as hell, her um, single that we have the affiliate link for um, that pays out $1.29. And we've added this to Jarvi to the repin from the provided list of pins because we're gonna keep doing this process, right? So this pin is now sitting right here. We have told it, you know, and I've also set it to do some other things, you know, for, you know, the purpose of, you know, my board, but essentially it will, out of these 90 repins per day, one of them, several of them will be this pin right here for Lizzo. Lizzo will be repinned around, you know, 90 or however many times a day. So. Um, that is the power of automation and this uh, tool Jarvi. Um, we'll make other tutorials about Jarvi and just how you can utilize um, Jarvi um, within safe, you know, safe methods um, so that your accounts aren't getting blocked or like, or whatever. And we'll talk about, you know, implementing proxies and, you know, what different proxies, you know, we recommend. Um, 
for being able to, you know, execute some of these strategies. So um, if you see the value in this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, go ahead and like that and subscribe. And most importantly, share this video with someone um, that you know needs this information, someone that's looking to leave their job, leave, uh, you know, looking to leave the nine to five, someone um, or an artist that's looking to get out their music, because this is a perfect way, you know, for artists to, you know, take advantage of, you know, their music. Um, this is what we're going to be doing. Um, this is what we do for our clients. And uh, this is a strategy that you can implement. So go ahead and share this video um, with whoever you feel like needs it. And again, be blessed and like the video Please, 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 please. That helps us so, 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 so much. All right. Be blessed.